Okay, guys, I just spent like an hour, <laughs> maybe it was a half an hour, trying to, um, working on this video episode, uh, episode from a video series that I'm doing, which cleverly is called Authorpreneurship, although I did not come up with the title, ChatGPT did. <laughs> Um, pretty, pretty clever though, right? Like I love it. So it's called entrepreneurship and it's about why it's such a good idea to write a book for your business. I do these little clips, these little quick, you know, one, two minute things where I describe why it's a good idea. This is another reason it's a good idea. And I kind of talk about why it is and how they can take advantage of it. Boom. But, um, <laughs> I keep stopping <laughs> and doing it over and I just it, like I'm okay I'm okay and then I like make this one little mistake and I'm like screw it now I have to start over and a lot of it is because I'm like they can tell I'm just reading this but you know what they can tell I'm just reading it anyway because <laughs> I'm not looking at the camera I'm looking off to the side <laughs> to read the thing that I want to say to them so it looks like I'm talking like this you guys over there not here but there um anyway um so I finally just had to say, you know what, <laughs> however, like seriously, however this comes out, it's just going to be what it is. And I did it and it's not great, but it's done. And, um, we can move on to the next thing on the to-do list. So that's exciting. Another thing, mm -mm -mm. I've talked about this a little bit before, um, is this, these ideas that I'm thinking about, like the future, you know, they say that they say <laughs> like, it's some sort of hmm, who knows, but being in the present is important. Um, however, it wasn't really motivating me. I've been, you know, and I'm sure I'm doing it wrong. <laughs> I know that I'm doing it wrong, but or not doing it as well as I could, because if I did, I would be psyched and happy to do whatever I need to do. This daydreaming thing, though, is really motivating me to get my shit together. If I want to, this is a person that I've been thinking a long time that I want to be. They're the ideal person for me to be. I, this is the cool person I want to be, and I'm not that person. And it's always been like, one day I'll get back to this. One day I'll do that. I'll lose weight. I'll get back to acting. I'll, you know, get back to boxing. Get back to this. You know, learn how to sing learn the piano, <laughs> you know, just a shit ton of stuff that I have wanted to do for a very long time. And I keep putting it off to the future when it's all right, when everything's okay, I'll do that stuff. But right now I, I and it's been, it's been, been because I've been focusing on survival, right? Um, and that's not great because it'll always be in the future for me then because being okay is always in the future. So screw that shit. I'm going to be okay now. And I am going to, like, it's hard though. Cause you know, like, it's like, you're 45 years old. <laughs> what are you doing? It's way too late. You screwed everything up. But that is, have you seen the, the, the movie, um, uh, Luca? It's a Pixar Disney film. I discovered it recently. I love it. <laughs> I love it. Uh, it's based, it's like, it's set in Italy. Um, and it, sometimes I watch it with the Italian uh, language turned on so I can kind of understand stuff and get my Italian back, which is another thing that I've been wanting to do because of this cool person that I am slash want to be am. Um, but there's this point, there's, there's two little boys, like one, like I would probably say like 13, right? And um, one of them's trying to convince another to do something that's a little dangerous. And the kid's like, <laughs> and he's like, oh, it's because you have a Bruno in your head. <laughs> it's like Bruno. And he's like, yeah, Bruno tells me all these different things. You know, don't eat that. You're going to hurt yourself. Don't do this. All you have to do is say, silencio Bruno. <laughs> it's just like, it becomes this thing where it's like the voices and tell you, tell these negative voices in your head to shut up. Silencio Bruno. Right? Like, so I've started saying that in my head. It's like, oh, the 45, you're too late. Silencio Bruno. Um, so I invite you to take up the Silencio Bruno thing. 
very cool. It's very much very funny to me. Anyway, um, and that it's a great movie. Go if you if you're into like Disney, Pixar, whatever good films that might be for children but are still good for adults because they make the films good for adults because they know the kids are gonna watch them over and over and over again, so they want you to enjoy them. Silencio Bruno. That's what I have to say to those voices in the head telling me it's too late and I screwed up. And I just say, but the thing, the thing that I get, I do get stuck on is it's like, you're 45, <laughs> you're 45, you're 45. Like I, this is the story of my life and it is what it should be because while I feel like I've ruined my life sometimes, I can come on here and talk to you guys about how I feel that way and what I'm doing about it. So that if you feel that way, you see there is a way to get out of it, to think differently about your circumstances, your thoughts, your feelings. And yeah, you can see that these thoughts keep keep coming back. But the trick is not to get stuck in them. Realize that they are just a different thought. Say, silencio Bruno. And get on with the stuff that you need to do, right? So that's my day, daily dose. And it's not really a daily dose. I haven't been doing this every day. Am I going to decide to do that? Anyway, one of the things that I'm going to be doing is um, getting these up on YouTube again. Start scheduling them, downloading them, uploading them onto YouTube, um, getting them onto the correct page in Facebook, uh, and trying working on um upping my game in the influencer sphere um because that's what something i really want to do it's not what it's what i'm called to do and i want to get get my voice out there so people it can help people however i can um and another way i'm helping people is i am putting on an event that i have to call the parks and rec guy about in boston called the Bean. my idea in my little fantasy is that it becomes like a nation or global wide thing so i'm calling it be in boston <clears throat> and it can be like be in charlotte be in amsterdam you know like what, whatever city they can put it on and what it is and i've talked about this a little bit already but i want to keep mentioning it because i want to kind of get things going about it right um it's a bunch of people getting together on the common and being nice to each other that's it. <laughs> like, we're here to feel good. And that is the entire reason for the gathering. No, the only rule is no negative thoughts, no negative words, right? Do not, I mean, you can't really help what you're thinking, but no negativity shared, right? Only positivity shared. And that is just going to encourage the positivity in others, the people near you. We're going to figure out, you know, I'm, I'm going to put up signs for the conversational prompts and um, instructions on active listening so people can engage in meaningful interactions that aren't just about them thinking, oh, what am I going to say next? What is my opinion on this? We're talking active listening. Um, and people feel seen, people feel heard, people feel that what they're doing matters, right? Because really the big thing is that we're all scared shitless right now. Everything's happening in the world. It's like, oh, it can't get worse. And then it does, right? Like it's just, it's, it's not good. <laughs> and we feel completely helpless about it. I feel like, I mean, how many years, like my whole life I've been saying, when I get myself established and I'm on my feet, I can help other things. I can do, I can do something about this, but I can't even do, get myself squared away. So how am I gonna take on the world's problems? When I'm living, <laughs> when I'm living on my parents' living room floor at 45, Silencio Bruno. <laughs> so, um, this is what I'm. This is my contribution. I said, screw it. I'm not waiting. This is what I think that can help, because not only will it help the people there and then that vibe, because it is. We're all vibrating, right? Everything is energy. Everything is energy and the high vibrations are the, the positive, happy ones and the low vibrations are the scared, hating, 
polarization ones that everybody seems mired in right now. So I want to get a bunch of people together with the specific aim of raising their vibrations, basically being happy and having those vibrations go out into the world, AKA spreading happiness. So my idea is that, as, you know, there's the crowd effect where all emotions get heightened by crowds, right? So if we're all there specifically to feel good and be happy and raise vibrations, that gets amplified and amplified and amplified. And it's vibrations, right? I mean, it's not like going to stay right there. It's going to spill out into the city and into the cosmos. Because if you look at the physical science about it, there really isn't a distance. <laughs> like, it can go everywhere all at once because it's quantum. Um, so what we do by doing this is we put all this positivity into the world and maybe, maybe, who knows, it'll help halfway around the world um, or help, you know, any situation. Maybe it will lighten other people's vibrations somewhere that will help people. Maybe not. Who knows? But it'll help the people in this, in the common at that moment. And that's, that's all we can really work on, right? Is at the moment. So it's called the being. And the tagline is be present, be peaceful, be powerful right? We all get together. We can make a difference, right? It feels like we can't, but we can. So let's do that. I'm going to call the, car, the Parks and Rec guy who doesn't want to get back to me, but I'm going to make him because I keep texting him or emailing him. And eventually I email him and his boss and that's when he responds. So I'm going to go call him and figure this out. So that's what I want to talk to you about today. Don't forget Silencio Bruno and, um, yeah, those voices in your head that say things aren't as they should be. Silencio, Bruno. Silencio. I'll see you guys on the flip side. I am grateful for Silencio, Bruno. And I am also grateful for you. And I'm going to remind you, as I always do every single time, I think, that you can always choose to have a great, full day.